I want to talk about an incident that happens on a daily basis with me. I walk into an establishment and the person, the attendant there, greets me with a, Hey, how's it going? That is not a proper greeting in my jurisdiction. Now, you're talking to someone who's worked in the service industry for several years. I've worked in hotels, restaurants, and fine establishments for quite a long time. So I know my way around with talking to customers. And this is not how I greet customers or how I was taught. So this young kid says, hey, how's it going to me? And he probably wants me to respond with, uh, oh, yeah, things are great. Oh, la, 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 lovely. No, it's small talk. Small talk is for small people. I don't engage in small talk. I hate small talk. If someone says that to me, I zip my mouth with disdain. And then my fists start tightening up because I want to punch that person in my mind. So I just walk away. And then he gets up all in my face. Ooh. Why, why, why are you so offended? All he said was, how's it going? In their mind. In their mind. I can see it on their face. But again, like I said, small talk is for small people. If he really wanted to know how it was going with me, I would say the truth. It's shit right now. My body's in all so much pain. I am in sore. My right wrist is almost broken. Because of, I've been hitting pea gravel bags. If you don't know what pea gravel is, it's basically gravel rock, small pieces of rocks I put in a bag. I started hitting it because I want to develop my punching power. And the only way I can do that is by punching rocks. So my wrist, my right wrist is almost shattered. I have just pain from here because I was doing neck curls with a weighted plate and it's just hurting and it's hurting my jaw as well because I used a towel. You don't want to hear all of this. This is the truth. That's how it's, how it's going. So I never ask this question or I never greet a customer like this in this style like this kid did. What I would say is, hello, and get to the point. Can I help you with your bags? Are you trying to check in, sir? Just get to the point or have a nice day. Thanks for scanning, blah, blah, blah. Get to know the name. Oh, hello, Mr. Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Have a good workout. Zip your mouth. That's it. That's how you, that's how you do basic customer service. But every day, on a daily basis. Hey, how's it going? Fake talk. Fake. He wants a fake response. Oh, things are great. Things are great in my life. Oh, hunky dory. No. I will not engage in fakeness in small talk because it's for small people. And people get offended when I don't respond. Because I don't want to tell them the truth. They, are, they don't want to hear the truth. Most people don't want to hear the truth. Even if you tell them all this shit that's going on in my life. What's the shit going on in your life? I don't care either. You're a stranger. You're just supposed to do your job, greet me, and just shut your mouth. <sighs> my kids these days... Too casual. This bro culture bullshit. It's just, it's effect. I'll, I'll tell you another story. It's not just in the West. When I was in China, I was in China, by the way. I was on a layover. I stayed in a Chinese hotel at the airport. And this kid, he was working in the hotel. He was checking me in. And you know what he did while he was checking me in? He was checking his text messages on his smartphone. He just kept doing this every so often while he was attending to me, checking me in. That was so rude. Anyway, to cut the story short, small talk is for small people. So don't be fake. Be real. Just say hi. Be courteous. Find, their, find out their name if you have to. And just get to the point. Stop wasting my time and I won't waste yours. So, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.